Hey guys, so this is my first impression of the Curly Kinks line, the Satin Roots Leave-In and the Coil Jam, okay? So first up is the Satin Roots. It's a lotion-y type leave-in, um, nice slip. I can detangle with it, uh, light smell so it's not overpowering. My hair sucked it up and yeah i really like this leave-in my i wore this wash and go for three days and all i did to refresh it was spray it with the refresher spray and work some of the satin roots leave-in in it doesn't have you know some leave-ins can get kind of build up -y. this one doesn't build up or anything like literally i do need to use it on dampish hair but i mean it works perfect i i really really like this leave-in and i would buy it again um yeah, for for the comparison, because I think her line is supposed to be like a kinky curly type line. When I compare this to Not Today, or yeah, when I compare it to Not Today, yeah, I really like the Satin Roots to Curly Kink sleeve in more. I'm not a Not Today fan. To me, Not Today dries out my hair, so yeah. Um, this is the gel. It's very thick very thick snot <laughs> gel it's kind of like phlegm but it has a lot of weight to it a lot of weight I was actually very surprised because kinky curly does not weigh down my hair as much as this stuff did my hair was very weighed down to the point where the front of my hair was almost straight okay now it does have a lot of hold to it my hair was a tad bit crunchy which I mean gels I mean, you're going to run the risk of getting crunch anyway, but I did find like places where I didn't work the gel all the way through my hair and it kind of gunked up on me. Like it was like a very hard kind of piece of chunk or whatever. And right here, I found a chunk in the gel, which I don't know what it was, but once I rubbed my hands through, it went away. Okay, so yeah, I don't know what that is, but hey, it went away. Like you can see here when I'm doing the front of my hair, like it makes it makes my hair straight. So I'm gonna have to diffuse it, which I will put in this video. But overall, the gel was nice. Um, I don't like it more than like Kinky Curly because I can always get really soft hair with Kinky Curly. With this, I'm not too sure, but yeah, I'm going to diffuse now. Hey guys, so it's been a few minutes later and I'm just diffusing. I'm diffusing on low heat, high speed. Um, yeah, and what I want to do, I want to get to where my parts are from my top section. And I really want to get those parts dry just to give me a little bit of height. And I do turn over and do my hair. And for me, that gives me more of volume in my hair because y'all know my hair is not the thickest hair. Um, when I'm close to being done, I will take off the nozzle and go straight at the roots and really get those to kind of stand up and give me a little bit more volume on my hair. Uh, this gel really clumps, like seriously clumps my hair to the point where it's kind of like I have freeform locks. It's so clumped. So I had to go in and kind of separate them, um, separate my hair just so I can have a little bit of volume so it's not so clumped up, which is always a good problem to have. But yeah, so this is basically how I diffuse and blow dry or whatever when my hair is seriously weighed down. I only do that when my hair is weighed down with product. So, all right, guys, I will talk to y'all later. Bye.